and in this is the part two of the series of how to perform a local testing with browse tech all right so let's get started so guys before starting i would highly recommend you to watch api testing tutorial series if you are interested in api testing and i have created lots of tutorials around the selenium interview question and answer so i will highly recommend you to watch the tutorials these are specially available in the playlist section of this channel all right uh, Another thing is that I have started my Cypress tutorials also. So if you are interested in web UI automation, do check out the Cypress automation video. Free, these are free videos and uh, you will get more knowledge about it. And the last but not the least is automation mindset videos. These are the videos which basically help you to change from your minor, manual to automation mindset. All right. So let's get started, guys. So uh, in the previous video, basically, we have basically started uh, one of the live session right in the browser stack where we interacted and we had one app which is local uh, local host 8080 available and we basically opened that app into it different browsers right we have basically able to run it with using the binary right we can do it with chrome extension we can do it with binary also right i would highly recommend you to use it using the binary because it has a gui available which is locally hosted and lots of different options which can help you to basically uh, get better results and if you have uh, access to any ci ct environment where you have a certain gui just change and create a certain uh, do the changes and you'll get a command that you can run directly into the ci ct platform i'll show you what i am talking about so local toast uh, so why uh, let's let me reiterate little bit so local hosted pages uh, these are the basically pages which are you are right now developing right uh, client basically uh, is creating a uh, app which is now right now notable into play store and all that you wanted to test it out right uh, and these are the local tested right now any kind of javascript testing that you wanted to do in ie and all that you can do that using the local testing right so local testing in fact is a way again i have re reiterating that any kind of a uh, in progress application that you wanted to test uh, which is basically designed on a local machine folder as a in a normal apk that you wanted to test it on browse tech servers or any kind of cloud platform where you can access the cross browser service that you can do that using the local testing why it is important you can test locally you can test behind wire firewalls you can test behind the proxies uh, staging environments anything like this you can even test your folders uh, which for example if you have a particular folder uh, or a simple HTML that you are creating and you wanted to test it on different mobile responsiveness, you can do that with this local testing concept. All right, so let's do one thing uh, that I have uh, already told you about. Uh, let's go to, let me uh, tell you about it, right? Uh, so you can download the uh, admin LT platform uh, uh, from the admin LT.io, I guess. Uh, on the same yeah or, or you can go to the startup bootstrap.com or download it right and when you run it you can run using any server for example python simple stvp server or stvp server which i have shown you in the part one of the series right so this is the suppose this is the application that i have run right and i wanted to test uh i have created a small selenium script right so this selenium script what exactly it does is that i want to test it out for example i can check i want to test uh if i able to uh, do the search or not right so i can write the code here and uh, so basically what we are doing in selenium it's a python script right? you can have any kind of script in node or java script or java or ruby any program language you can do so what you need to do is that you need to pass the desired capability how you will generate it right it's a very simple one you just need to type the selenium uh, uh, selenium browse tag selenium and your language for example browser selenium java browser selenium python you will get the details here you will get uh, this platform where you can select for example i have selected windows 10 uh, chrome 79 because in the free trial chrome 79 is available for free i can test it out so i selected the chrome 59 i can select the resolution drive default i have put the resolution so when you do that you will get generated there you'll get a code generated right and this is the similar code but uh, one important thing if you wanted to twist for local testing you need to add the browse type dot local true that is important right and that they have mentioned somewhere uh, around here if you want to test it all right that makes sense right so uh what is the title of this app it's a dash uh, sb admin dashboard something like this right that i wanted to test it on so right now i have one desired capability which is basically going to test this application which basically resides on my local server, right, guys? And uh, so uh, if you wanted to change any kind of a configuration, I, uh, there is an app already running in for the, especially for the browser stack. 
uh, we, uh, it's a browse type local app uh, it's a web app kind of a thing which basically uh, lots of people gets confused with the band uh, if you run using the command line right so this is the command line running and i am very uh, i don't know how to do that right uh, there are like lots of options available and all so then you definitely use this app right uh, here is your key the temporary key guys uh, you can have a proxy if you have right uh, i have added verbose basically i wanted to see the logs so logs are available and uh, logs are basically coming in access dot log which are uh, which is uh, which is available here let me show you where it is uh, it is in video videos youtube yes look uh, here all the blogs are available here so what's going on everything is available right or uh, you can see all the logs running here also right when it the session any kind of session is running right so i have created a selenium script which basically get the local host url right on the browser stack and it's going to basically get the title right i want to check if the application is running or not i can take screenshots i can do anything right uh, or i can basically record because basically basically browse tag records a session right so let's do one thing let's run this uh let's let's run this one if you go to your browse tag uh, account uh, if you go to the automate session because this is a automate session right uh, let's refresh once again so you will see this session running a live session running here so this is this is the running session uh, let's see if it's run out. Uh, it's done right right uh, so a few seconds ago so this was a session let me click on it and let's see what was the result so here they have entered that local testing was on which is good because we are accessing our local server here right this one and this is the video that they have created okay so let's zoom it out let's see what's going on and how is this application looking on this server right so let's run it uh, this is a windows 10 again uh, i'm using a windows 10 and uh, chrome uh, chrome 79 and resolution is this one so this is how it looks like i mean i can look it out i can take screenshot also this is uh, so this uh, this look good basically our app is sponsored right so let's do one thing let's change something i'll uh, change the desired capability because i i am already on windows 10 right i wanted to see on mac let's see if mac is available freely or not uh if we go to let's uh let's go to live session right i here yeah, here you can see the logs here also generated somewhere uh, which is right you can kill the boundary you can disconnect the boundary or you can kill the boundary also here or you can test uh do a debug connectivity also if you want to test it out these urls are accessible or not for example if you want to test it out that okay stpp localhost 8080 is available or not right i want to check it so 200 means everything is works fine so it means that it our code should work, will work in this case right uh, so uh, let's see if i can get some mac like mac 79 is available right so let's do let's select mac uh nina and here you have the desired capability changed right and uh, let's make it a little bit higher resolution like hd and let's copy this part only because i want to see it right and i'll gonna remove this part and just paste it uh, let's not delete it let's paste it local beast sample test i'm gonna make it mac mac test I want to see on Mac, which is SD, SD Mac, right? And let's run the session again. I want to see my application on Mac now and local testing is on, right? So that is important. And uh, it's going to run, right? Uh, let's go to again, automate, automate session. And we'll see one more session here available. Uh, let's see if it is run. Oh, it's already done. it's running right okay so we haven't named the build but okay we have it's running now it's done i guess yeah local testing was on again uh, it's run on safari uh, i have mentioned safari right oh uh, safari was there right my bad i thought it's chrome so i wanted to test it on chrome suppose and uh, this is right so my app is looking very very much good right the video shows that it's working very fine. Uh, let me see again. Yeah. 
let's go here okay the session is very small actually right let's let me stop it here right it's looking very fine on safari also so that's how i'm doing the testing right i'm which is i'm performing a cross browser testing i'm using a local testing because this is a local server right? this is how you do it on browse tag it's very easy and there's a particular app which is basically available uh, which basically resides on your local host 4545 when you run the binary which is running right now behind the scene and every kind of access log is available here that you can see right and you can see the logs here also uh, but if you wanted to look at more uh, what other things are basically requesting and all you can see it here everything right I hope that makes sense and uh, this is all about the binary local binary and your automate session live session I have shared uh, in the part one of the series right and this is how you can do the local testing with browse tag I hope you have guys have understand everything about it and do let me know if you have any kind of question and I will be happy to answer this this is your host Pramod and signing off and uh, uh, if you like this video please don't forget to share subscribe and uh, do check out this scrolltest.com course and uh, thanks a lot and have a nice day bye